We've had a very dry end of summer here in the Ohio Valley, and now it's time to prepare your garden for the colder months ahead. Meteorologist Sam Gabrielli visited Walt's Garden Center to get tips on how to keep your garden in good condition. You've probably noticed in Kentuckiana so far the past few months it has been very dry, so it's going to be pretty important you tend to your garden as we head into the fall months. I'm joined here alongside me, Ray from Wallace Garden Center. Ray, well, first off, what a great looking pumpkin you have here. Isn't that gnarly looking? <laughs> He's probably one of my favorite pumpkins. If you don't want your plants that do not get water right now at this time to end up looking like this, now is the time to start watering. We had the same situation going on this year that we had last year. We went into an extremely dry uh, fall into the winter, and then we had a lot of wind, which did most of the damage. There's two main gardening elements that are going to be essential as we head into the fall and winter months and progressively prepare you for spring of next year. Uh, Ray, so what are some of these elements that we need to be uh, thinking of here? Watering right now is the most critical thing that you can do. Last fall, we had the same situation going on with the drought, and I encourage people to start watering because if you didn't start watering, the plants are going to go and they're going to be dehydrated. So we have a couple little tools here that I'm going to show you uh, that would be really, really interesting and very helpful to use. Most people have a watering wand. When you're watering, you want to keep all the water on the ground, water each plant uh, for about four to five minutes, regardless whether it's newly planted or odor existing. And odor existing is very important now to do that because we've had two months without rain. Uh, the ground is separating up near the foundation. The water in it is going uh, pretty much, and then it's very, very dry. Now we have a special tool here. It's one of my favorite little friends. It's called a Ross root feeder. And as you can see, water is coming out of the end. You hook it up to your water hose, and then you shove it right into the root system of the plant. So what it does is you're not wasting water. All the water is going right into the root system. The hardest thing to do is to teach someone how to water. Now the beauty of this tool is it will cut your watering in half, plus it, you're going to save money. It also comes with a little uh, packet that you can actually fertilize with. It has a little reservoir here that you can mix these little uh, fertilizer cartridges in and the water forces it down into the root system. Now, if you're planting new plants, regardless of whether it's trees, shrubs, evergreens, annuals, perennials, this little product is called Soil Moist. It looks like a tapioca, a little water polymer, and you mix it in with the dirt. It swells up like a clear gelatin, and the root system attaches itself, and it cuts your watering in half. It will last for years and years and years into the soil. Hey, how often exactly do new plants or existing plants need to be watered as we head into the fall? Well, newly planted need to be watered twice a week for the first two weeks, once a week thereafter, up to about the 1st of November. But older existing plants need to be watered every week right now and soaked really good. From Wallach Garden Center, meteorologist Sam Gabrielli, WHS 11 on your side.